Smart Object OData configuration can be found within the Integration menu group under the APIs node. The first step we need to take is to enable the Smart Object OData API, which will then allow for use of Smart Object OData data feeds inside third party tools such as Excel and Power BI. From the management menu on the left, we can open up the integration node, then open APIs and select the Smart Object OData menu option. Then you can enable the Smart Object OData API option as demonstrated here. Upon enabling these services, we can see a section displayed where we can select which smart objects we want to enable. Confirm the selected smart objects option is selected under which smart objects. Then click the plus icon. In the K2 categories pop-up window, for example purposes, I'm going to expand the workflow reports, workflow general nodes, and select the process instance smart object. From here, I'll click the select button. Then after you see the process instance smart object displayed in the OData endpoints container, you can go down to the lower right and click apply changes to commit the selection back to K2. At this point, you may be prompted to enter your credentials before K2 saves the settings. Take a moment to plug this in as needed. Finally, notice the section called OData URL. You can click the copy button next to the link to copy the OData URL to your clipboard and then use it in your tool of choice such as Excel or Power BI. If you happen to see a pop-up asking you to allow access to the clipboard, you'll need to allow access here. Then you can use the URL as needed.